What's up, Dirty Cones? What's up, Dirty Cones? This is our initial simulcast. Yeah, this is very exciting. We tried it once before, but it didn't work. Uh-uh. But, uh, but really, the reason we're doing this is to do the movie review. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spoiler free. We won't tell you how it ends. No, we will not. Even though, as a cone, you should know how it ends. You shouldn't have to spoil it for you. <laughs> <laughs> and the movie we're discussing is... The Last Full Measure. The Last Full Measure. A uh, story of William Pitzenbarger, mm -hmm. Vietnam, yeah, and uh, life during and after, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the the ripples and the people that you affect mm -hmm. by your actions. Um, I thought it was a good movie. I I liked it. I thought it was a good movie. Mm -hmm. Um, it I wanted like a little bit more action. Kind of mm -hmm. like when you watched uh, *Inglorious mm -hmm. Bastards*, you okay. wanted more action, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I think it wasn't meant to be like a war, yeah, war like a movie. battle movie. It was supposed it was to be the story, the story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and good character arcs. Really good character arcs. You know, good actors. And and kind of mm -hmm. showed how pair rescue affects everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think I was I was telling you. So we we took a bunch of cones with us. I did. Had a wonderful conversation after. Yeah. They had good questions. And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, Jordan Peterson was brought up. And, mm -hmm, you know, what you mm -hmm. do affects other people. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's not about you. I mean, and that's pararescue. It's not about you. Mm -mm. It's about others living. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I was always taught that that's why he didn't get the Medal of Honor at first. Was because, well, he was just doing his job. Right, right, right. Um, and I'm sure there was some political... BS, because I mean, uh, for Lance Sajon to get the yeah. Medal of Honor, it was because he saved a bunch of officers. <laughs> but mm -hmm. <laughs> other than that, I don't think they would have gave it to him because it just, you know, you what it said uh, three thousand plus Medal of Honor recipients. Only fourteen of them have been from the Air Force, mm -hmm. and only three of them That's incredible. have been enlisted. That's incredible. Um. Well, maybe. As an airman, you don't get too many chances to you don't to do it right. But how many untold stories are there? Yeah, well, I can think of a couple cross recipients that mm -hmm. would be worthy of the Medal of Honor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's really fair to say, well, that was his job, right? Because if you look at that, like in the private sector, like employee of the month and manager of the month, well, yeah, they're doing their job, but they're doing there's a recognition beyond. for said performance. I got gotcha. you. Well, you know what I mean? Who, uh, the comedian, Dion Cole, was talking about um, Caitlyn Jenner mm -hmm. and said, you know, she's inspirational and she's strong, mm -hmm. but is she a hero? Right. You know, and he, I mean, he's definitely a hero. He could have left. He didn't have to be there, mm -hmm. but he couldn't leave because as a PJ, what are you going to do? You leave? You're, the medic's dead. It's These not. dudes are getting wiped out. Yep. Um, you know, I'm, I'm surprised there weren't more dudes on the ground, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. to help out. Cause I definitely would have wanted to, you know, I mean, you know, the, the other guy on the helicopter had to stay cause who's going to keep the guys on the helicopter alive. Mm -hmm. But if there was nobody on the helicopter, like, Hey, I'm going with him. Right. You know, mm -hmm. um, I've I've met a couple of the mud soldiers mm -hmm. in in 2000 at the, the ceremony. What were they like? Very nice. Yeah. Guys, mm -hmm. um, quiet, mm -hmm. humble. Mm -hmm. um, everybody like respectfully had their head down. I mean, these guys, since that battle, had been working to get him the Medal of Honor, mm -hmm. and um, so it was. And living, you know, quiet private lives of that were not easy. Mm -mm. Not. Uh, by any means they didn't have the resources that are available now or the ability to speak out and be free so they lived uh, it couldn't have been easy it didn't look easy at all no it looked really really difficult but it looked like most of them had you know at least good su close support systems around them but it looked um difficult at best yeah, well, I mean, I think of all the the World War II guys, mm -hmm. Korea, Vietnam, you know. Sufferance Islands are just, yeah. 
Well, that's the only, that's the only way they know. Yep, I know. You know, whereas now it's like now I'm gonna put a post on Facebook mm. that says I want to kill myself oh, so I, I can know. get people to pay attention to me. I know. Yeah. And I mean, if if you gotta use Facebook to put out those kind of things, then you should be open to accepting any help. They, Except the response that's gonna come with it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can't you can't put that kind of stuff and not expect Ooh. people to be like, "Hey, you doing all right?" Yeah. 100%. A little worried about you. Yeah. Why? Well, you put a Facebook yeah. post. There's a fire in the theater. <laughs> what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the 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 movie evoked uh, a lot of emotions, reminding me of a bunch of things. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, getting to to meet Mr. Pitsenbarger, mm. and uh, so, you know. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll I'll say what I said, but mm-hmm. you know, because if it's sometimes like I know that we're having a conversation yeah. but you've heard the conversation so then I'm like so this is for the people yeah. listening mm-hmm. but you're gonna have to listen again because that's just I think I'm okay okay yeah well so in December 8th 2000 mm-hmm. got to go to the Medal of Honor ceremony mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. was amazing because mm. I'd only been a PJ two years yeah I, I was a senior airman. Green. I was a pup. I cutting your teeth still. Two deployments. Yeah. Um. You know, a couple NASA missions, a couple saves. You know, because it was peace time, so it wasn't too yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um. But you know, I was always a sim. I've always been a um peacetime mission magnet. Mm-hmm. Like those, like I for some reason I think. Well, I always think, like, the god was like, uh, I don't know if he can handle too much death, mm-hmm. so I'll just give him enough, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, but but was very uh, sheltering in that, mm-hmm. you know, n- nobody died on me that wasn't going to die. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, they were they were alive when I dropped them off at the hospital, mm-hmm. so I count that as a win, mm-hmm. and I don't ask any questions. Yeah, I don't need to follow up. Mm-hmm. So... Mm-hmm. You know, the, there's just it's it's at the Wright Pat Air Force Museum, okay. and if I told you there were like three thousand people, it was just packed. Wow. Um, not all of them were PJs, but sure. everybody in the front rows were all PJs. So there's just this maroon beret sea wow. of old dudes and young dudes, and um, you know, getting the like that night everybody was drinking I didn't drink because I wanted to remember everything it must have been very like surreal to just like be in the presence of all that energy oh. and like, just the colors and the just this ritual the ceremony just everything everything mm-hmm. was crazy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just you know because like, they've been fighting for this for you know 30 years, 30 years at the time and just to to meet Mr. Pritzenbarger mm-hmm. and, and to see everything and you know like I said I was I was the first person I got to talk to him after he was given the uh, the medal, mm-hmm. and you know I, I, he was in his wheelchair, mm-hmm. and I I said, "You must be so proud. This is so awesome. All of this for your son." Mm. And he said, "I'd give it all back just mm-hmm. to have him back." Oh yeah. Mm. And uh, <clears throat> just to like hear you say the words is gets you choked up yeah. because you know. All he wanted was his son. We're parents, and you do you did, This is all beautiful, but, but just give him my son back. I'd like to see my son. Yeah. You know, and and what he talked about in the movie, mm-hmm. you know, about never getting to see him fall in love or have children, and all, I mean, like that was everything that I read from. Mm-hmm. If I could only have my son back, mm-hmm. and um, shoot, I had to go call my parents. Like, I I went into you know, like I left right after that and went and made a phone call yeah. um, because as a child you know you I mean my mom cried when I told her that I was what I was gonna do because mm-hmm. she was all like <gasps> yeah you know like mothers do mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. so but I I mean it, it wouldn't have stopped me or sure. you know whatever it just was a little yeah uh, beclamped yeah mm-hmm. so um, for him I mean just for Thirty years of fighting for you know justice for your your son, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and you know it is different as a parent <laughs> versus mm-hmm. being the child, and you don't have any clue. Totally different perspective. You know? mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. 
so in 2000, you had the perspective as a young man, yeah. and now seeing the movie as a father, a diff- another perspective, you can feel it differently. Well, he gave me that perspective on that day. Yeah. So even, even before I had kids, I understood mm-hmm. my life isn't necessarily my own life. Mm-hmm. Uh, my life is mm-hmm. everybody's, yeah. you know? And, and if you got to give up your life, make sure you give it up for a good cause, right. you know, or at least a, mm-hmm. uh, take some with you. Yeah. So it was very, um, mm-hmm. and then just <clears throat> like him getting lowered into, like I've, I've been lowered and I could only imagine people mm. seeing a, a PJ coming out of the sky on the, mm. the hoist, like. Here's this angel. Yeah, yeah. I was like really picturing you when they would show those scenes, like imagining like what your your perspective from like watching someone go down and then you being the one that went down and yeah. like looking back up and like that whole. Whew. Yeah, I never saw it that way, mm. but I but then I did see it because I saw it through their mm-hmm. eyes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that was a a nice uh, mm. gift, mm-hmm. I thought, because <clears throat> you know I didn't I mean I don't use the word hero for me at all I, I really think I was just doing my job mm-hmm, and, and, mm-hmm. and my job is to make the world a better place mm-hmm. so I wasn't doing anything that mm-hmm. you know it, it, to me it's what every human being should be doing mm-hmm. something to help other people mm-hmm. and make the world a better place mm-hmm. and and do that kind of stuff versus you know mm-hmm. be a lawyer be a politician make a bunch of money yeah Drive a gas guzzling vehicle. Yeah, who are you serving? Destroy the environment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I think of, uh, I don't know, just the gift of life mm-hmm. and, and the appreciation of it. Mm-hmm. And I think I always appreciated it, you know, but like I said, the reason I joined the Air Force was to pay my dues and earn my freedom and, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, earn my freedom, right. you know, of, of getting lucky enough to be born here and say Mm -hmm. thank you Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so why wouldn't you do something and give and Mm -hmm. you know not take Mm -hmm. um which i thought was one of my friends i told you a conversation my Mm -hmm. buddy was telling me he's like you're a giver Mm -hmm. you're not a taker Mm -hmm. and people don't understand that Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know why why do you teach cones for free why do you Mm -hmm, do mm -hmm. because people were kind enough to teach me Mm -hmm. because people were nice enough to talk to me and say, Mr. Maroney, what are you going to do with your life? Well, I'm going to live in a Volkswagen bus and go surfing. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad life. It's not. It's But, but. you got to do something. Yeah. You can't just Mm-mm. let everybody else do the work for you. No. Mm-mm. And, uh, I mean, what is your life if not a job? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, yep. in whatever... Christian, non-Christian, Muslim, mm-hmm. you know, religious based mm-hmm. or, or non-religious based, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what is, why are you here? Mm-hmm. Were you sent here to go work at Wall Street and do mm-hmm. that? Or were you sent here to like do some good work and, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, um, you know, and the, I mean, shoot, an artist, mm-hmm. that, that's work, mm-hmm. you know, and it's beautiful or being a parent, mm-hmm. that's work and, mm-hmm. and trying to make, uh, what the comedian said yesterday about make your kids so people like them mm-hmm. instead of like not liking them but like oh those kids yes that is so true yes <laughs> it's like a measure of parenting mm-hmm. do people like your kids mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I, and I, I thought Mr. Pitsenbarger did a very good job of raising his son yeah. you know um, not, not that I'm like judging him saying he no. well no no but you know what I'm saying like um he did a good job, right, <laughs> but right, I'm, right, I'm right, saying his parenting skills. Right, yeah, right. No, no, no. but I'm saying that like from mm-hmm. uh, the the words, you know, and and uh, Mrs. Pitsenbarger speaking in the movie about that the the greatest joy we get is getting to talk about him mm-hmm. because as I always say, if you talk about people, they're not really dead. Keeps them alive. And you know, so you just keep on passing those memories mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of you know guys. And, and, and you said this yesterday, I mean, how many other stories are out there mm-hmm. that nobody knows about, mm-hmm. you know, that nobody's heard, yeah. um, people that lived and died mm-hmm. and, and we've never heard of them, never. but they did mm-hmm. die for our freedom mm-hmm. or, you know, um, or just for, for, for that moment or that battle or that, 
horrible situation. Like, to, uh, yeah, to, it'll never be known. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and what could they have done had they not right. died? Yeah. You know, had yeah. children or cured cancer or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. something. Yeah. There was a uh, a moment in the movie when Mr. when the father was talking about how when Pitts didn't ask him for his permission to go in, he t he he told him. Yeah. And he he saw the foreshadowing of that. That way, you know, he saw it as taking responsibility relief from the father and taking, you know, this is my responsibility. I'm I'm making this decision. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. That was powerful. Wait, wait. Would you ask? I mean, I, I understand you asked permission to somebody to marry their daughter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, well, I guess maybe he likes his parents. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't have asked permission. Mm -hmm. You know, I just said, hey, that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I, I can respect and understand, like, because yeah. my dad did the same thing, kind of in a way. In fact, uh, I was asking him, like, a question. Mm -hmm. And he said that he couldn't tell me what to do mm -hmm. because if he told me what to do and it didn't turn out right I might blame him mm -hmm. or, or something mm -hmm. so yeah. I, I understand like the thought yeah <clears throat> but I guess I've always been a ask for forgiveness than a ask for permission oh yeah yeah you, you know do what you gotta do and ask, ask yeah. for forgiveness later yeah I, if needed abide by that yes yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <sighs> but it was a uh, I mean I don't know how many times I had to yeah, there just keep quite a few. breathing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I was able to stay just nose breathing the whole time, so I was happy about that. Yeah. But there was some... Uh, <laughs> yeah, some elevated heart rates happening. Yeah, it was a very emotional movie. It was, it was very raw. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. uh, but I think it, it captured pararescue. It captured... Mm -hmm. um, service it captured you know like why are you here well you're here <laughs> i mean that's well, you're here, that's, that's, why I'm here. that's mm -hmm. the answer i mean that's the yeah. pj answer yeah i'm here because you're here yeah. if if you were safe and at home i'd be safe and at home all all lives matter yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and yep it's the ripple right everything we do has an effect mm 